फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी एड्रेस द एज टैबू इन इंडिया बहुत ज़्यादा एज टैबू है इफ़ यू डू थिंग्स एट रिलेटिवली एल से ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी सिक्स देन पीपल आर लाइक ओके फाइन यूर अ सक्सेसफुल पर्सन बट इफ़ यूर अ लेट ब्लूमर लेट से आप ट्वेंटी नाइन में कुछ स्टार्ट करते हो यू स्टार्ट समथिंग एट थर्टी देन पीपल ऑलरेडी हैव लेवल डाउन देर एक्सपेक्टेशन थ्रू यू और दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी इन्फॉर्मेटिव एज एन यू पीपल विल हैव टू इंगेज योर सेल्फ इन दिस वीडियो Uh, just uh, comment down and tell me what do you think and what's your opinion on this and uh, the topic as you must have seen by thumbnail is is 27 years of age a wise decision to go for phd is it a wise decision or a worse decision okay so uh, first of all thank you to harshali she asked uh, uh, five questions and all of them are i think worth answering and i'll answer them one by one but first let, let's address today's question that is is 27 years of age uh, good uh, for going to uh, phd like uh, 27 uh, first of all uh, let me address the age taboo in india bahut zyada age taboo hai if you do things at relatively i'll say 25 26 then people are like okay fine you're a successful person but if you're a late bloomer let say aap 29 mein kuch start karte ho you start something at 30 then people already have leveled down their expectations from you or sometimes unki koi expectations hi nahi hoti aapse just because you're starting it late but you at your heart no right what do you want to do and what why are you doing it so first of all i think i want to think about her shali's point of view as to why she is asking first she herself has got this uh, situation that she is uh, 27 years of age and she want to know that whether she should go for phd or not dono baat karte hain merits and demerits because i think ek ko address karna will be biasness so first of all see uh, if you engage yourself in research field at a very young age to kya hota hai ki there is a training period of about 10 years okay so the training period can be in the form of 5 to 6 years of phd and then you do your post docs maybe you want to explore a little further so you do multiple post docs so maximum to maximum it sometimes it is 5 to 7 years but let's take it 10 years okay so if you start your phd at ideally a student in india who is uh, who has started his or her schooling at the age of 5 years uh, goes to uh, po- uh, like completes the post graduation at the age of 22 years okay so let's take case one where you just have finished your post grad and you qualified your csir that is the fellowship Uh, entrances fellowship exams which are valid in india okay so at 22 2 years of age if you enter an institute for phd then i think more or less by 28 29 you'll be able to finish your phd kitna time lagega 6 to 7 years then you'll be able to uh, finish it uh, 28 to 29 tak finish kar loge okay and then if you want to go abroad for a post doc or you want to pursue post doc here at itself so i think the project will be 1 to 2 years do ya do dhai saal ka to you'll have your project matlab post doc ke liye so then let's assume ki 22 se 32 mein that person is fully trained in terms of uh, becoming a scientist ha huh? और उसका पूरा प्रोजेक्ट ट्रेनिंग सब कुछ माइंड मैथ या फिर माइंड फॉर्मुलेशन जो भी होता है वट एवर इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द फील्ड ऑफ रिसर्च टू स्टार्ट एज अ नाइफ पर्सन एज अ फैकल्टी एज एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर दैट पर्सन इज रेडी ओके तो अगर ट्वेंटी टू पे स्टार्ट किया है तो आई थिंक थर्टी टू पे यूल बी एट अ पोजिशन वे यू कैन स्टार्ट योर ओन लैब बिकॉज यू हैव सीन ऑल द अप्स एंड डाउन यू हैव सीन विद द स्ट्रगल ऑफ अ लैब सेटिंग कैन बी ऑल्सो यूल हैव योर ओन स्ट्रगल्स हैव टू थर्टी टू एज वेल वैन यू विल स्टार्ट क्योंकि सबकी जर्नी सिमुलेट नहीं की जा सकती ओके फॉर सम पीपल विल बी रिलेटिवली ईजी टू गेट फंडिंग फॉर देर देर लैब्स बट फॉर सम पीपल थोड़ा सा डिफिकल्ट हो जाएगा तो लेट से थर्टी टू में यू आर स्टार्टिंग एंड यू आर जस्ट बिडिंग थोड़ा थोड़ा आप यू नो यू आर जस्ट टेकिंग द बेबी स्टेप्स तो आप थर्टी थ्री थर्टी फोर थर्टी फाइव पे थर्टी फाइव पे पहुँचते हैं कि थर्टी फाइव पे आपने एक वेल स्टैब्लिश लैब स्टार्ट कर दिया यू हैव अ गुड वर्क प्रोफाइल आपकी खुद की क्योंकि अभी तक यू नॉट टेकिंग स्टूडेंट्स एंड देन आप विद इन थर्टी फाइव टू फोर्टी ईयर्स में आप अपने पेपर पब्लिश करते हो यू मेक कॉन्टैक्ट्स यू स्टार्ट बिडिंग कोलाबोरेशन एंड आपका एक यू नो एक नेम बनना स्टार्ट हो जाता है तो आई थिंक फोर्टी ईयर्स तक यू बिकम अ पर्सन जो कि हल्का सा रेपूटेड है एंड पीपल विल प्रिफर स्टूडेंट्स विल प्रिफर टू गो देर ओके तो इसकी भी बिकॉज लॉट मेनी स्टूडेंट्स फॉल प्रे टू दिस फैकल्टी थिंग वट हैपन्स इज वेन यू गेट सेलेक्टेड द फैकल्टी विल बिहेव इन अ वेरी डिफरेंट मैनर एज टू दे वॉन्ट यूर इन देर प्लेस ओके सो इफ यू आर हैविंग मल्टीपल 
uh, entrance is qualified then the person will think that i want this person i want this student to my lab so uh, the thing is you have to make a name to up 35 to 45 years to aapko lag jayenge to ab baat karte hain starting it at the age of 27 dar lag gaya hoga because i think uh, where I, I was talking ki 22 pe start karke you are you know up 40 pe you are becoming a name and uske baad some 20 years of contribution then you can contribute in a manner ki aap country level pe kuch contribute kar sakte ho kuch scientific authorities ke sath baith sakte ho and if uh, allowed uh, so and you are so much focused so you can scientific advisory commission mein ja sakte ho india ke okay to ab baat karte hain what if you started at the age of 27 see problem kuch nahi hai what happens is 27 years ya fir the people who are uh, you know preferring phd after the age of 25 they are actually preferred by the guides ab isme bhi thoda sa hypocrisy hai if you are from 25 to 30 then they will prefer you okay if you are 25 to 30 and a female then they will prefer you but if you are 28 29 30 male then they will not prefer you because us time pe again a taboo again a thought comes ki this person has to look after their family to bahut chances hai ki this person will not be able to thrive with this 31000 of fellowship okay to bahut sare cases mein even i have seen very reputed uh, let's not quote the name but uh, one of the iit has rejected a boy 29 years of age saying that they don't take uh, elder people okay i'm not fighting you i'm just so I'll talk in favor of 27 years as well. What are the merits? Like it's a very good decision to go for PhD at 27 years. But I am stating all the facts such that you can take your decision on your own. Okay. So, so that person was rejected by IIT. One of the IIT quote unquote. Okay, I don't know. But uh, was selected finally in IIC. So, ho gaya, that person got a well, matlab, better place. At least they were welcoming and plus neurosciences department i think uh, neurosciences department of iisc and that person had did his btech worked in a company and after that realized that i want to contribute to science via phd only so this was his story okay so ab baat karte, if you are 27 years of age and you have decided talking of the situation when you have decided agar ab, if you are confused that both, whether you should go for phd or a job to just keep one thing in mind what are your financial situations aapke financial constraints kya hain aapki financial favor mein kaun kaun si cheez hain like for example if your family is there to support you if you are the youngest of your family then many cases might happen that they'll be supporting you okay so agar if they are supporting you and you have a well defined financial backup then go for phd otherwise look for a job kyunki aap eventually more or less thoda der baad up you are you will be looking for a job because when see going for a phd is fine good doing coursework is also fine and then when you see your project uh, when you take uh, baby steps and you see your project not going anywhere then you realize that you know uh, maybe it's not the good plan for me so other financial constraints and you're getting second thought about doing a phd so please do not go for it you can all see if you have you will have talent then sooner or later you'll fetch a position up 31 years maybe fetch kar sakte ho, but first make your finances very clear uh, as to what i say is aap financially apne paas paisa jodne ki koshish karo okay taki aap apni funding dekh sako also you will get fellowship by csr but then uska bhi ek age limit hai so CSR doesn't provide you JRF after 28 years of age, I guess. And for female applicants, there is five years of relaxation and for some category people. But what about the general boys? After 28, you're not going to get a fellowship. If you have fellowship based, hi karna hai, then try to uh, accumulate, try to save money for that purpose. You can job kar sakte for one or two years, good handsome amount. Just go to, if you belong to biology background, just go to some good reputed, uh, like... Uh, uh, brand premier medical coachings you will get paid handsome amount of salary you can save it for yourself one to two years up and just you know keep brainstorming your uh, keep brainstorming and keep looking for what's happening in the research field if you're really dedicated to up if you check it if you'll be updated i think 
दैट इज द सेंग ना कि बी सो गुड दैट दे कॉन्ट इग्नोर यू तो आपका फाइनल सिलेक्शन हो जाएगा एंड आई एम अ फर्म बिलीवर ऑफ द फैक्ट दैट बी सो गुड दैट दे कॉन्ट इग्नोर यू आप अपने पे इतना ज़्यादा काम करोगे दैन आई डोंट थिंक आपको कोई भी इंसान नहीं लेगा ठीक है ये बात हो गई थोड़ा सा आई एम सो सॉरी आई डाइवर्टेड फ्रॉम द टॉपिक सो डूइंग पी एच डी एट ट्वेंटी सेवन ईयर्स ऑफ एज मेनी पीपल प्रिफर दैम बिकॉज दे थिंक दैट दिस पर्सन देर इज़ अ वेरी लेस चांस दैट दिस पर्सन विल लीव पी एच डी ट्वेंटी सेवन ईयर्स में यू आर कंसिडर्ड दैट यू आर फॉर्म यू आर स्टेबल एंड यू हैव डिसाइडेड यूल गो फॉर पी एच डी दैन यूल कम्प्लीट इट ओके तो आपके जो छोड़ने के चांसेस होते हैं दे आर रिड्यूज देर फॉर द फैकल्टी लाइक दे ट्रस्ट यू मोर therefore going for a PhD at 27 years of age it is you know thought that you have already decided you know you are very confirmed and you want to do research ठीक है आपका passion बहुत ज़्यादा है science के लिए तो first आपके selection में there is very less constraints because uh, the faculty will trust you but then comes your trust on yourself why are you doing PhD first if you are doing it for the utilization for the sake of utilization of your fellowship just don't do it because I quote you earlier also because there are सी पी एच डी इज एन अन ट्रेवल्ड पाथ यू डू इट फ्रॉम एनी वेयर इट्स लाइक दी प्रोसीजर और दी थॉट पैटर्न वट एवर यू गो थ्रू इज द सेम राइट योर स्ट्रगल्स आर सेम सो जस्ट डोंट डू इट फॉर द यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ योर फेलोशिप डू इट ओनली बिकॉज यू थिंक यू वॉन्ट टू हैव अ डॉक्टरल डिग्री बिकॉज यू वॉन्ट टू कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट समथिंग कितना भी छोटा कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन हो सकता है इट्स अगेन अ टैबू दैट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन को लोग वही मानते हैं कि आप कल नोबेल फ्रेच करोगे वही कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन है नॉट एट ऑल कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन कैन बी इवन इतना स्मॉल कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन हो सकता है दैट द अदर पर्सन कैन लाइक से फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन अ प्लेथरा ऑफ लाइक इन अ बंडल ऑफ नॉलेज आपने वन टू हंड्रेड में यू हैव जस्ट टोल्ड दैट ओके आफ्टर फिफ्टी कम्स फिफ्टी वन देन द अदर पर्सन विल हैव टू लुक आफ्टर फिफ्टी वन ना तो आपने उनका टाइम रिड्यूस कर दिया यू हैव गिवन दैम अ वैल्यू जो कि फिफ्टी के बाद आती थी नाउ दे हैव टू लुक फॉर अ वैल्यू आफ्टर फिफ्टी वन दैट इज आप अगर बहुत कम इन्फॉर्मेशन देते हो दैट इज ऑल्सो ऑथेंटिक इन आफ कि उसे री चेक ना करना पड़े तो यू हैव कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटेड अलॉट ओके सिर्फ इसलिए पी एच डी करने जाओ जस्ट डोंट डू इट फॉर द सेक ऑफ की मास्टर्स के बाद यही ऑप्शन बचा है डोंट डू इट दी थिंग आफ्टर अगर ट्वेंटी सेवन के बाद आप यूटिलाइज करना चाहते हो पहला इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बिकम एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर पी एच डी आपको करना ही करना है ठीक है तो वो एज अ डिग्री मत समझना बिकॉज अगर आपने मास्टर्स तक इफ यू हैव टेक इन योर स्टडीज वेरी कैजुअली देन यू नो वॉट कैजुअल डज हाउ हार्मफुल कैजुअल इज राइट तो अगर यू हैव टेक इन योर मास्टर्स वेरी कैजुअली एंड वो कम्प्लीट हो गया देन यू फील लाइक कि यार आई वुड हैव डन बेटर इफ यू हैव दिस गिल्ट इन योर माइंड इफ यू आर लेफ्ट विद दिस गिल्ट इन योर माइंड दैट आई वुड हैव डन बेटर देन डू योर पी एच डी बेटर ओके सो ट्वेंटी सेवन ईयर्स इज बोथ अ वाइज एज वेल एज अ वर्स्ट डिसीजन वाइज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट टू द सोसाइटी देन गो फॉर इट आप ट्वेंटी सेवन ईयर्स पे जा रहे हो देन आई बिलीव यू हैव एवरी थिंग क्लियर एवरी थिंग शॉर्टेड इन योर हेड दैट ओके फाइन यू विल टेक सम फाइव टू सिक्स गुड ईयर्स आफ्टर फाइव टू सिक्स गुड ईयर्स यू विल बी थर्टी थ्री यू विल डू अ स्मॉल पोस्ट डॉक दैट इज इन टू ईयर्स एंड विद द अदर पर्सन जस्ट डोंट If you don't do two postdocs, say for example you are not taking multiple postdocs as your option. If you want to come back and set up your laboratory, you will come back or you can set up it at thirty five years of age. आप पीछे रह सकते हो in terms of years two to three years, but once your training is completed, once you have established a lab, आपको कोई पीछे नहीं कर सकता because you know you have a pattern done. and uh, if a person takes some course late in their age then i think the understanding is much in the sense that you have decided that this is my one thing this is what i have to chase and it it said na nah, just don't chase two rabbits that is your rabbit and you'll have to go after it rather if i compare it to a person who is pursuing phd at the age of 23 and that that the person is not liking all the environment all the scarcity is all the problems uh, which are thrown see phd it's not only the academic problems there are lot more problems besides the academic problems in the phd okay so the person can is very fragile as the age of 22 to 23 24 25 they are very fragile ages so that person can leave phd very easily as compared to you i'm not saying that you will tolerate ab har tarike ka harassment and everything you will tolerate of course you will not do that you will be mature enough to throw your पर्सनैलिटी इन अ सेंस कि आप इतने इंटिमिडेटिंग तो हो हो ही कि नो बडी कैन थिंक ऑफ डूइंग दैट टू यू ओके 
तो आई थिंक आपके पास यू हैव एन अपर एज इफ यू गो फॉर पी एच डी एट ट्वेंटी सेवन ईयर्स ऑफ एज वन मोर अंडरस्टैंडिंग सेकेंड मोर क्लैरिटी थे थर्ड थिंग इज एवरी थिंग विल बी क्लियर दैट आई हैव टू चेज दिस वन थिंग एंड वाई डूइंग सो आई थिंक यू कैन यू नो यू कैन इन्वेस्टिगेट मैजिकल थिंग्स बिकॉज यू डोंट हैव योर एनर्जी डाइवर्टेड यू डोंट हैव योर एनर्जी बाइफिकेटेड सो येस going for phd at the age of 27 get at the age of 35 is also a wise decision but provided that you are doing it for a purpose okay if you are anything if you pursue if that is backed by some purpose then i think sooner or later aap uska result le hi loge just don't do it for the sake of ki sab kar rahe hain don't do it for the sake of ki aapko iit ya is raha hai ac mein admission mil gaya hai wo tab bhi ho sakta hai when you are intelligent right everything is with respect to time i may be intelligent today i may not be intelligent tomorrow agar main apne aap pe kaam karna कर दू ओके तो आई थिंक आई एम क्लियर ऑल्सो मैं आई राइट इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन वॉट आई थिंक अबाउट दिस टॉपिक एंड इट्स एन ओपन डिस्कशन गाइज वॉट डू यू थिंक यू कैन ऑल्सो राइट बिकॉज आई थिंक देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ टैबू इन इंडिया इन टर्म्स ऑफ एज वेल गोइंग फॉर पी एच डी अगेन कंस्ट्रेंट सबको पता है दैट फैमिली कंस्ट्रेंट इज देयर taking the responsibility of family constraint is also there going and leaving your phd going for uh, you know research and not being able to give your family enough time is again a constraint but see you have to decide you are going for a greater cause you are going for a greater purpose i'm just not saying it for the sake of saying because it philosophical lagta hai bahut zyada but phd indeed is a way of life okay if you will see it thoroughly if you are in love with with your phd then you know what i'm saying about okay and uh, you just pour your sweat blood everything into your phd into that degree and it is worth doing that because this generation whosoever we are we people can build a community who can be humble and they can be humility and they can promote indian students uh, to pursue research in a very efficient manner okay so yeah i request if you feel that uh, i should go for phd at 27 and just don't anticipate any of the results there only lies your uh blockage the only blockage is when you be overthink when we over analyze when we become over critical just go with the flow for at least first two years of phd and try to formulate if at all you're liking the place if at all you're liking the uh you know vibe if you are uh, if you're liking the feeling of work in a laboratory just be very honest with yourself it's about your life do sal waste ho jayenge that doesn't matter to you can waste your two years for entire 20 years 30 years of life 20, 20 to 30 years of career you can contribute in some other field okay so yes for two years aap apne aap ko judge mat karo bahut zyada abhi se just don't create a high phd is just about training yourself just about telling your nerves that okay fine this is what i have to do for the rest of my life and this is how active i'm going to be this is how my day will go like this is how i'll plan my work and this is how i'll be connected to academics in, for my entire life maybe till my last breath so yeah uh, i think it's a good decision to go for phd at any age at any age if you are sure that you have some purpose you want to give something to the country okay so thank you everybody and uh, i'll uh, take all the rest of the questions of harshali one by one as uh, i'll think like what is their importance of course all the questions she has asked have some meaning in them but yes this one i thought was important if something is left behind i'll just write it in the description box and again it is open for discussion and